And so a new adventure begins, maybe? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. Today we have episode 37 of our Hunter Hunter Watcher called Ging and Gon. Ging being, of course, Gon's father, who we know little to nothing about. Aside from the fact that he restores like ancient ruins, I'm pretty sure that's what Satold said. But nonetheless, like I said, we are off on a new adventure, Killua and Gon departing from the Heavens Arena. And I guess back off to Whale Island to check in with I totally blanking on her name. We're gonna hop right into it. If you need the channel, drop us up. Hit that big wood bell so missing future episodes jump a fat like on this one let's just hop right into it if he gets here this gets there this episode that's gonna be so wholesome <sighs> she's gonna be so happy to see him he's okay all safe and sound i bet she couldn't even believe her ears at first Aww. it's almost like she's not even surprised that he's okay and that he was able to take care of himself he made a friend oh that's right he has sent her letters that's right so she hasn't been like totally out of the loop sheesh i'm sorry the comparison of gon's like home life to kilawas is so funny dude you're stinky she's acting like such a mom bro you have 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> Kill was the right reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he's taking a bubble bath. Ah, uh, the home life. So relaxed. <laughs> he's without tradition. <laughs> His little speed back to the seat, bro. If only she knew, like, the benefits that came with it. No! Stop! Imagine it snapped. There's no replacing that bad boy. Oh, he's so excited, too. Dude, this is so freaking wholesome. I can't. They're off on an adventure. Something to eat in the forest. He's like, ah, same old gone. Ah, this is the tree that we first saw him on. He's teaching him how to fish. Oh, they weren't lying. They found something to eat. There's a lot to show Kilua too. His first friend. Both of their first friends. Well, I guess Kilua kind of had, um, what was her name? Now, the title of the episode is Ging and Gon, so I'm guessing we're going to get, I mean, maybe more info on his dad this episode. Hopefully. It's a bad feeling that his dad's not even alive, man. Like, like this entire time. And he's gonna search for him and search for him, and he's not even gonna be there. He's just gonna be gone. Oh, just like a feeling in my gut. Yeah! Oh, okay. He has no drive or anything. No goal. Hard to care about what you, like, about looking forward when you don't have anything to look forward to. They're so freaking adorable, bro. Yeah, you said it was such a serious face. Oh, no wonder he never really had any friends here. Why was he never friends with her? Except for that one girl. They both had this one girl that, like... I mean, unless Kilawa was closer to her than Gon was with her. He's like, Kilawa, do you like being my friend? It's almost like Gon is inviting Kilawa to be a part of this journey with him, so he has something to look forward to. His little giggle. Again, dude, such bright eyes. What is he thinking? Maybe that he's found a purpose? I think so. Maybe for the first time in a while he has. But so am I dumb? What? Have they mentioned his mom? Mito-san isn't his mom, but... Yeah, okay. Okay, so his mom is kind of a mystery, too. She might be dead or alive. I feel like the mom is alive. The dad is dead. I mean, it has such a focus on the dad that I feel like it's going to be a letdown. Is she listening? Yes, yeah, she is. He's like vouching for her too. That's so freaking sweet, bro. She heard him say that he sees her as his mom. My heart. The soundtrack is so pretty. 
I wonder why that caught him off guard. Oh, wow, that's longer than I thought. She knows it's inevitable. She really does. Oh? Oh! Huge? It's a little box. Oh, shoot, she's been holding out on us like this? Okay, spill. Oh, is Gon technically her nephew then? I'm trying to find the family tree. Cousin. No, nephew would be brother. I'm not sure. Got a cool motorcycle. God, he looks like Gon. Something I want. His face looks so much like Gon. Something I want. I'm very curious as to what's in this box then. I feel like that line's gonna hold a lot of value later on. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I see. So he wasn't even born here. Wow. Okay, so I think the mother might be alive too then. I feel like one of them has to be dead, but... So the mother is actually even more of a mystery than the father. But he's inserted his father because father had that try to become a hunter. And he wanted to figure that out. That was the box! That's all she knows. Okay, not an insane amount, but still, it's important. Like I said, we hadn't really known anything about the mom or she hadn't even been mentioned. Is it Jing or Ging? He just wants to know more. Has he never used his name like that? Has he, has he always said my father? I don't think I even realized it. Oh, this is so cute. Jing. I think it's Jing. I can't tell how I feel about him because he kind of abandoned Gon, but at least he abandoned him in like the right hands, you know? But also, I mean, where's the mom too? I mean, he went off and had Gon, so she probably never even met the mom. <laughs> Looking for her? So, is there really nothing in the box? Is it just a box? I'm so confused. It literally looks like Gon with short hair. It's bizarre. I feel like the two silver bracelets are very defining, too. I feel like if he is alive and if we ever meet him, that's going to be the first thing it shows is, like, the, the bracelets. <laughs> Killua decked in Gon's bed. Yeah, so does it open? Is it like a trick box? Oh, it is like a trick box. I mean, dude, if it, yeah, like if Kilowa can't even break it open, look at those muscles. What are you gonna do? It's a trick box, so it's probably like interconnected until you can find the one way to open it. True, yeah. Can't smash it or anything. Maybe like if he can get it open, it'll give him like a hint to where his dad might be. Because he said, yeah, he said, don't give it to him until he's a hunter, so he would have the skills at that point. Does it have have something to do with like his hunter card yeah it's like magnetic or something just start like tapping it on the outside oh <laughs> bro me and going in the same thought oh, this makes way more sense <gasps> oh my gosh oh it bust open what is that yeah, but they have, like, inscriptions on them. Nothing was connecting them? Does it? I don't know. Whoa. I mean, it was just for Nen to keep it together. Yeah. Okay, what about the box inside? Oh, true. Oh, dude, this is crazy. What is that? Oh, this has to be stupidly important. Put the ring on. Oh, it has the inscription. 
inside the ring. Mm, no, I don't think so. Maybe it's to protect him. Copy the cassette tape? Oh, dude, this is gonna be crazy. What if it's a message from him? Like, that's a fancy looking cassette. Oh, Superpowers. And I'm glad we've wrapped all the way back around to Whale Island and Mito has gotten to see how far Gon has come, but that he's the same kid and she treats him the exact same. And then also gets that, that really cute little moment where he talks about how he sees her as his mom. But uh, I feel like Gon's month long stay here is going to be cut very short if this tape gives us any idea of where Ging actually is right now, because that is Gon's entire goal right now. And he's going to book it if he knows exactly where to go. But with that being said, that's been it for episode 37 of our Hunter x Hunter watch. Drop a comment down below when you think the episode we thought my reaction. Rate that bombshell on a scale of 1 to 10. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As per usual, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.